something else besides bills in the mail. Boy, oh boy, how much money you people spend. There's a letter here for you, honey. Oh? What have you got to do with the Superior Court? Oh, I was expecting that. That's my excuse from jury duty. Excuse from jury duty? Mm-hmm. While you were in Boston, they called me in for an interview, but uh, I told them I couldn't serve. Oh, why not? Well, honey, I have a, a family and a house to take care of. And that eliminates you from doing your duty? What? Lover, a lot of people are, are busy, have got work to do and families to care for. But what if everybody tried to get out of serving on a jury? I mean, where would you get the jurors from? Well, they... It's your obligation as a citizen. It's a civic duty. Even if it means giving up uh, something temporarily. You're right, Dad. Mom, I'll take your place on the jury. Oh, don't be sick. I'll give up school. Oh, cut it out. You're happy to sit on a jury. You better be quiet or you won't be able to sit on anything. <laughs> Honey, I would love to serve on a jury. I think it would be a wonderful experience. But with Louise away on a vacation, who would take care of things? What's the matter with me? You? What's so funny about it? I've got 10 days off. I've got nothing to do. I can hold down the fort here. Oh, honey, you don't know what you're letting yourself in for. Oh, come on, Kathy. Don't make it sound so tough. Sound so tough? Yeah. Oh, boy, you sound like a true husband. You come home to a smooth running house and you think that it all happened by accident. Oh, boy, you men kill me. <laughs> well, uh, as a matter of fact, you women kill us men. <laughs> Compared to our mothers, you've really got it made today. Made? I mean made. What's there to it? You got an automatic stove, an automatic dishwasher, an automatic dryer, an automatic mixer. Believe me, when the bride pokes her finger at the groom for the ring, that's the last thing she does by hand. <laughs> <laughs> you are so smug. No question of being smug. I just don't see what's so tough about boiling eggs or sweeping a carpet. You know, I've got a good mind to take you up on your offer. Let you have a taste of what it's really like running a family. Oh, come on, Kathy. There's nothing to it, for heaven's sake. Nothing to it? Listen, Danny Williams, if I decide to call that courthouse and tell them that I'll come down there, you'll have nobody to blame but yourself. Lover, be my guest. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you really you don't have to get sore. You really don't know what you're letting yourself in for. You have never been a wife. Wife? I've never even been a bridesmaid. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. This is Mrs. Danny Williams. Um, I received a letter this morning in the mail excusing me from jury duty. Well, it happens that my circumstances have changed, and I find that I will be able to serve. Well, uh, any time. Yes, I'm available right now. Tomorrow morning? Fine. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Gee, Mom, you're really gonna go through with it? Well, why not? Obviously, I'm not needed around here. Oh, now, Kathy, that's no attitude. Of course you're needed. What, to uh, uh, boil an egg and sweep a rug? <laughs> to make this place a home for us. Well, you're the ray of light that brings the sunshine into our hearts. More important than that. Well, honey, you're the one who puts the bubbles in our life. Is that what I do? Yeah. Then go out and hire Lawrence Welk. <laughs> hey, Jake, it's time to hurry up. Get up. The phone didn't ring. Oh, I killed that switchboard operator. I told her, call me 7 o'clock. She can't ring a phone. Phone, where's the phone? <laughs> oh. Myrtle, 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 is it too tough for you, honey, to call me? Ask you to call me 7 o'clock. Look, I explained to you, my wife is locked up in a jury. I've been looking after the kids, the house, and everything. I didn't hear it ring. Well, get me a cab for the kids, will you? They're late for school. And have this phone checked. You can't hear it ring. Boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> kids, hurry!
Thank you, Myrtle. Thank you. Okay. Kids, hurry the cabbage here! <laughs> Put the ones you had on yesterday. They're good enough. All right. Do I have to wear a tie? Yeah, you have to wear a tie. Oh, gee. Stop OGing. You gotta wear a tie to school. Oh. Now go on. Holy smokes! I'm being exhausted. Ah. Starch. Go sit down. I can't find a bow for my ponytail. You don't need a bow for your ponytail. I can't help it if you can't. I gotta have a bow. If you can't find it, how can I find it? Why do you have to have a bow all of a sudden? You gotta have a bow? Yeah. You don't need a tie for school here. What's the matter? Burning. Burning. Oh my gosh, my eggs. Oh, my eggs. Oh. I don't know when mommy is coming home. She's locked up in a jury. Why don't they unlock it? How do I know why they don't unlock it? Here, put some cereal in there, that bowl, and drink some milk. The cab will be here any minute. That must be the cab driver. You, you'll eat at lunchtime. It's all right, all right? Where are our lunches? Your lunches are right here. Here you are, sweetheart. What's for lunch? Why do you care what it is? Just eat it at school. Come on. What did you get, Linda? A can of tuna. <laughs> Oh, get out of here! Oh, get out of here! Go on! Go to school! Enjoy the dinner, kids? Oh, it was the greatest. Good. Good, I'm glad. Yeah! What was it? <laughs> it was Chateaubriand. Well, how do you like that? It tasted just like steak. <laughs> Could be on this day. As a matter of fact, uh, an extra special cut. But I'm glad you liked it. I sure did. Golly, things are sure a lot different around here now. <laughs> For a while, with Mom gone, I thought we were in real trouble. You were. Uh... When we left here this morning, this place was a mess. <laughs> well, you just didn't give old Dad enough credit. I admit it was tough at first, because uh, well, everything was so new to me, see? But it's like anything else. You've got to have an organization about you, see? Then I... Planned the whole thing and followed my plans. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You're a good planner. Thanks, son. Did you enjoy your dinner, sir? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Pinot Noir. Was it at the right temperature? Excellent, excellent. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you. Now, may we... Uh, mm. mm -hmm. We're all finished. Thank you, thank you very now, much. Now, would you care for uh, brandy or perhaps some dry uh, California sherry mm. wine? I'd love some sherry. Shall I serve it here or in the drawing room? Uh, the drawing room, by all means. Oh, Mr. Gustav, what's for dessert? Now, for dessert, we have iced watermelon, strawberry shortcake, and chocolate sundae. Good. That's what I'll have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the same. <laughs> it uh, will be served in the drawing room, mademoiselle. Hey, neat. Come on, Linda. The name is Mademoiselle. <laughs> See, Dad, I got to thinking. What's that? If Mom does real good on this jury, maybe they'll hold her over. <laughs> Sorry, not allowed. 
All I want to do is call my family and see if they're all right. It's been four days, and I'm... I'm very sorry. Oh. Oh, take it easy, hon. Your family's okay. Didn't you say your old man is home? Oh, yes, but he's as helpless as a puppy around the house. Oh, gee, I wish I could get this thing settled so I could get back. You're in a hurry to get home? Back to the rat race? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. This is the first vacation I've had all year. <laughs> Doesn't your husband miss you terribly? My old man? <laughs> I'll tell you when he'll miss me. When he sits down to watch the fights and there's nobody to open his can of beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's different with my husband. My family needs me. <laughs> They're as helpless as can be without me. Oh, I'll admit it's a hard job, but I wouldn't trade it for any other job in the world. You know, it's a wonderful feeling when your family needs you. When the ones you love depend on you, why, it, it seems to make everything worthwhile. Gee, I never figured it that way. Hm. Maybe opening all them cans of beer meant more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> The game will be on in just a few minutes, kids. Good. Say, mmm, isn't that good, Gustav? Look at that lobster and cracked crab and, and shrimp and cheese and deviled eggs and anchovies and potato chips and olives. Oh, boy, how about that, eh, Russ? It ought to hold us till halftime. <laughs> <laughs> what about dessert, Mr. Gustav? Dessert? You haven't even had the appetizers yet. You're talking about the dessert. Well, if you are still hungry after this, mademoiselle, we do have sherbet and a tray of French pastries. <laughs> Good. Bring them out here to the drawing room. <laughs> Let's not overdo it, eh, Zsa, Zsa? <laughs> And you could be a little less elegant, too, Nero. How can we eat the grapes and get your feet off the couch? Well, how many times have I told you don't put your feet on the couch? Gee, Daddy, how am I going to get to be a playboy if you won't let me play? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I just want to get in as much soft living as I can before Mom gets home. <laughs> oh, about that. Hello? Kathy! Oh, lover, it's good to hear your voice. What? Well, glory, hallelujah. When are you coming home? Oh, that's wonderful, darling, wonderful. Oh, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, baby. No, you are crazy to worry about us. We're fine. All right, hurry home. Mom will be home in about 20 minutes. Hear that, Linda? We'd better eat fast. The honeymoon's over. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Williams is coming home. And, and, and I want you, please, to have the boys clean the kitchen up real good, make it spick and span, and get out as fast as you can. I want to make it appear as though you've never been here. You know, it's a little game I'm playing with my wife, all right? I understand, sir. Fine, yes, fine. Sir. And thank you so much for everything. And have Mitch send me the bill. And this is for you and the boys. Thank you, thank you. We'll be, we'll be out in 10 minutes. Wonderful. And goodbye, young sir and uh, mademoiselle. Goodbye, Gustav. We'll sure miss you. <laughs> yeah, it was wonderful having you for a mother. <laughs> Listen, kids, 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 when Mom gets home, kids, will you stop eating for a second? <laughs> now listen to me. We haven't got much time, Never Daddy. mind that time. You're plenty of going to get sick eating so fast. Look, kids, I think when, when, when Mom comes home, I mean, uh, we don't have to mention that Gustav and the others were here now, do we? Don't we? Well, what I mean, sweetheart, is, uh, look, now, Mom said that I knew nothing about taking care of the house. And I said that I did. And, of course, I didn't. But, uh, I mean, I'd like to, well, we sort of make her believe that, that I did. You know what I mean? Oh, I see. We're going to say we didn't have any help. No, 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 no. We won't say we didn't have any help. We just won't say that we did. <laughs> oh, we're going to lie. Yeah. No! <laughs> Look, just do as you're told, will you, please? All right? Kathy! Oh, 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 gee, it's so good to see you. Take the back, We sure missed you, Mommy. We sure did. I certainly missed you, both of you. Oh, and you poor darlings, I bet you're just starved for a good home-cooked meal. Hi, see, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go out and fix you a nice home-cooked dish. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this? Oh, uh, 
having a little snack while watching a game. <laughs> Lobster, cracked crab, shrimp, deviled egg cheese. A snack? What do you do for dinner? Oh, it varies. Uh, trout almondine, chicken cacciatore, chateaubriand. You know what? Linda's acquired quite a taste for pressed duck. <laughs> yeah, I like it even better than peasants under glass. <laughs> I'm indeed pheasant under glass. Oh, honey, what sort of a restaurant have you been taking them to? Oh, we've been eating at home, dear. Well, you know the Williams clan. We're partial to home cooking. Oh, 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 my kitchen. My poor kitchen. I can just imagine it must be in a shambles. You got her on the run now. Now, you scram. Stay out of it. I'll handle it. Oh, this is going to be a wonderful joke. <laughs> Well, I mean, what good housekeeper would have a messy kitchen? <laughs> Immaculate. <laughs> Not even anything swept under the rug. No, I never did like lumpy carpets, you know. <laughs> you just did fine without me. Didn't really need me at all. Here I am. I'm worrying myself sick for four days and nights in that courtroom about my family and... Why, if I'd been gone a month, you wouldn't have even missed me! <laughs> Kathy! Some joke, I listen, Kathy! Oh, honey, look. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Anything you say now is only going to make me feel worse! Get, but gotta let me explain, honey! Run up and call your mom. But Don't Daddy, say anything. She, just call. Well, she won't come down. She locked herself in her room all afternoon. I know, I know, but just call her anyway, will you please? All right, I'll call her. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. I'll get dinner right away. <laughs> oh, you've already prepared dinner. Why not? Of course, why not? I've never fixed anything quite so elegant as this. Won't you sit down, madam? Thank you. We're, uh, we're going to start with Vichyssoise. I hope you like it. Vichyssoise? Well, you know, we're kind of up to here in jellied madrelaine, eh, Russ? <laughs> <laughs> jellied madrelaine three nights in a row, and you've had it. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, honey, don't go too heavy on the hors d'oeuvres. I want you to save room for the tenderloin tidbits en brochette. <laughs> they did do very well without me. <clears throat> yes. Augusta? Yes, sir. Shall we show Mrs. Williams how well we did without her? And uh, serve the dinner, please. <coughs> Who's this? Well, that's Gustav. <coughs> Hope you have the same dessert as last night, Gustav. Oh, I, I, I like the dessert from the night before. It's yummy. He sets fire to a bunch of cherries. Yeah. <laughs> and we always eat it in the drawing room. <laughs> Makes a big mess, but Ethel and Herbert clean it up. Ethel and Herbert? You mean... yeah, they're the people from the agency, darling. They clean the house beautifully. Very good. Well, you mean Gustav, Ethel, and Herbert are all from an agency? And oh, no, 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 no. Gustav and the waiters are from Longchamp's restaurant. Don't you recognize Gustav when he's the maitre d' at Longchamp's? Nice to see you again, Mrs. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're, you're a big fraud! What? <laughs> you haven't done one single thing around this house yourself. Of course I haven't. What are you so surprised about? You know I don't know anything about running a house. <laughs> first, at first, I thought it might be easy, but I found out I was wrong. But I wasn't going to admit it. Not without a struggle, anyway. <laughs> I may be helpless, but that doesn't mean I'm not sneaky. <laughs> you certainly are sneaky. Why, if I hadn't seen those men, I would have thought that... By the way, why did you let me see them? I just want to show you how easy it was to replace you. You can be replaced. Real easy. All I had to do was to replace you was hire somebody to cook the meals, somebody to serve the meals, somebody to clean the house, somebody to do the laundry, somebody to pick the kids up and take them to school and pick them up and bring them back home. You know how many people that is working 
full time on full salary just to replace you, scrawny little you. <laughs> that cost me only three dollars for the marriage license. <laughs> Honey, you're not only indispensable, you're the biggest bargain in town. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about putting a help wanted sign in the window. See if you like the way it's worded. Wanted. One wife to keep together one helpless family. Hours impossible. Working conditions horrible. Salary, nothing. Benefits, just to undying love and gratitude. You can take the sign out of the window. The job is filled. <laughs> With you, a sunny day Without you, clouds in the sky With you, my luck will stay Without you, fortune will fly With you, I'll never stop Until I reach the top Without you, I would never get by. With you, a happy song. Without you, castles that fall. With you, I can't go wrong. Without you, chances are small. With you, my banners unfurled Right here on top of the world Without you I'm just nothing at all What are you crying about? Beautiful.